I just love the fact of it so much that like someone can love me so much like through everything and it just kind of amazes me and like I'm really grateful that like he has all these people that follow him and like without those people I wouldn't be like who I am or where I am today and there's one person um Irma it just like absolutely amazed me like it blew me away like she has so much faith in God that like no matter the circumstances she just knew like this is in God's hands now like I have nothing to worry about like it'll all get handled how it's supposed to and it's going to work out how it's supposed to and it just absolutely amazed me and like ever since that day when I heard those words I was like I need to like get more into this like because like if someone can do that after the things that happened like it's just like amazing and like of course my parents like they're devoted God followers and it's just like having that in my life every day like it really really helps and makes me like feel better about myself and like know that there is like hope for more in this life. Just from the start of 2019 like it was a really rough year altogether like it just kind of kept going downhill and after the accident it was like why did this happen to me like I've already had so much happen like why me and then I realized like my life was going downhill and that was a message from God saying like you got to follow me like I'll lead you the right way and like it just like I was taking it as like this is like my life sucks like why is this happening to me and then I realized like he did it because he knew Irma would be the one to be there and be like like hey it's okay like it wasn't your fault and it's in God's hands and it's all gonna work out how it's supposed to and like like I've been so much better ever since then and I was in a really rough spot and God just like he just changed me so much it helped me so much I'm looking forward to being happy and following God and being like the best me that I can be and sharing my story and my experience with God and how like my love for him and hoping that others will follow too as I continue to share my story and hope that everyone feels the same way that I do. I just like notice that like I'm like okay and like if something happens like I don't freak out because I'm like it's okay like it's like it's just all going to plan and like it's just okay and like it's in God's hands and like if it's an accident I can't do anything about it and I feel like before I wouldn't have I wouldn't have thought that way, but like, why did this happen? Like, why is this happening to me? Like, why does my life suck kind of thing? But then it's just like, it's okay. Like, it's all part of a plan and it's gonna make me mature and go, grow into a better, more godly person. And I'm really excited to see where it goes.
Father's going to be assisting me this morning as well. Oh, if you just want to listen and hear this. Ellie, I want to ask you the same questions uh, that I just asked Christina. Ellie, have you given your heart to Jesus? Is it your desire to follow him all the days of your life with the help of the Holy Spirit? Yeah. It's a tremendous privilege and honor for us to baptize you this morning in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.